Are the deals live? They are. They are? Okay. They are All right, indeed. good. I'll tell them that they're live now. Uh, make sure you check out the deals site. Uh, I'll link that right at the top of the description. Uh, we have recently built a deals website that scans for the top most discounted items on Amazon for a particular brand. So check that out if you're just uh, interested in finding some high quality tools. We only have five brands right now and some of the nicer ones are more popular uh, power tools. I think we got uh, Dewalt, Makita, Milwaukee, and then we have a couple of hand tool brands, Klein and Nipex, I think are the five at the moment. So and then we update one of those each weekday. We try to post that around five o'clock. So if you wanna check it out, Make sure you do so. This video is specifically just gonna be a few quick tips regarding how to paint material that is paper-based uh, to prevent it from peeling off and causing lots of trouble. Obviously, this ceiling isn't in perfect shape and probably needs to be re-drywalled at some point in time, but sometimes the best option you have is to just go ahead and put a fresh coat of paint over it. The easiest way to identify wallpaper is just because you can see the seams. If you look closely right here, you can see where the paper actually overlaps just a little bit. If any of you know what type of material this is, definitely comment down below. But either way, it definitely appears to be some kind of a paper product. And uh, I have experience with this in the other room over here as well, where I thought that maybe I could get away with not treating it like wallpaper. And what I mean by that is if you have a standard wall, you can just use regular latex paint. And latex paint is a water-based product, and what happens is it will cause basically moisture to soak into the paper and cause it to basically swell and start to come loose off of the ceiling. Whoa. So right over here, I ran out of my oil-based primer, and I was like, ah, it's gonna be fine, I used the latex paint. And you can see a little bit right there where the paper actually started to come loose. Now, when I first painted it, it was really bad. It was like bubbling all over the place. Thankfully, when it dried, it mostly shrunk back up. But you can avoid that by using the correct product. And that product is an oil-based primer. Something like this right here, but you can see that this is an oil-based primer and sealer and this stuff is Incredible if you have like some nasty spots on the ceiling where there's like some orange stains coming through or something like that If you coat it with this it's gonna have very little if any bleed through in your final product uh, Let me see if I can find these I can show you an example of it actually right here in this room this this door right here is the same color as this wall. I painted both of these with a latex-based white paint. Let me shut off the light so you guys can see this maybe a little bit better. So like I said, I used the same latex-based paint, but this door came out much more yellow, even though I coated it three times. I have three coats of the standard white paint on this, and you can still see we still have some bleed through in different spots because that wood has color to it and it will soak right into a water-based product, like a water-based paint or a latex paint. The other thing when you're painting a wallpaper type product that you need to watch for is any seams that are beginning to come loose. So right here, if this seam was starting to come loose, you wanna take some paintable silicone and seal all of those locations. And by doing that, you're not gonna give the wallpaper a spot where it's going to be able to start coming loose. It looks like there's one spot right up here that we actually missed, and we could actually come back and add a little bit of silicone to that. Again, paintable has to be a paintable product. Make sure you don't use 100% uh, silicone or you will be very um, not pleased when you go to try to roll paint on 100% silicone, it'll just peel right off. Right here is the product that I've been using. Actually, I've used a couple different things, but you can see that it specifically says that it's for painters, it's paintable, and I think it doesn't even take very long before you can go ahead and cover uh, or paint over uh, this once you've applied it. I'll make sure to link to this stuff in the description of the video and uh, also to a quality uh, silicone gun because uh, you know how the cheap ones are prone to fail. Yeah, just uh, 
make a good decision and purchase one that's going to last you a while. This is a high quality one that has seen many miles as you can see. Now I guess one bonus tip would be uh, painting paneling is very similar in that you should start with an oil-based primer. I have personally tried to use latex paint previously and it'll just keep soaking in and soaking in and soaking in. And you can see that this didn't cover 100% and that's because we are going to come back with a latex paint for the final coat. But once you get this first layer of primer on here, that'll prevent the latex paint from soaking in and the color from soaking out into the finished paint. So those are my top recommendations for when you are painting wallpaper or paneling. And so if you guys have any other thoughts or suggestions, put them down in the comment section below. I'm definitely not a painter every day. I've just had to deal with it enough to where hopefully this will be helpful for some people out there. Uh, one more bonus tip at the end is take some more of that sealant and just fill any cracks that you have. Uh, we went around the room and done that and uh, by doing so it just makes a huge difference in what the final product looks like because when you have a gap or a crack it's really obvious when you have like a white wall or really any color wall because you just have a dark space where that crack is located. So uh, this obviously you can see we've used white uh, sealant to go all the way around there and smooth it out so once this all gets painted uh, you won't be able to see that whatsoever. All right, we're going to try to get the rest of this room here painted before the end of the day so I gotta run but thanks so much for hanging out a few minutes. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So it's very important that when you pour the can you don't spill at all and so one of the best ways to do that is to pour from the wrong side so the hole is right here. Normally you would instinctively want to pour it like this. But if you do that, that's a terrible mistake. You should actually pour it this way. <laughs> and by doing so, it will pour cleaner, maybe. So ready? Let's try it out. Here we go. It didn't hit the lid at all. Filling it up, leaving a half inch of space. Look at that. Okay, this, that one, that big one, that's not for me. That was from that guy over there. <laughs> this is Emmanuel, by the way, for those of you who haven't met him yet. He's now part of the crew around here. But this small, tiny one, that one's my fault. That one's not my fault. Uh, part of the reason it worked better, though, is because the can is like half empty now. We've, we tried to do that same thing when it was uh, when it was all the way full. And we still had a little bit of dribble. But I'm maintaining that pouring it the wrong direction is the right way to do it. Do you agree or no? Well, yeah, you got it clean. <laughs> well, I don't know. But look at this. Look at what just happened. See those drips? Those are going to be there forever, probably. Didn't you know this carpet? We're gonna have to, we have to reinstall this carpet in the office after we take it out of here. I was actually thinking about that, but... Oh yeah? Yeah, but probably we shouldn't because look at this. See that? That yellow spot? Here, smell it. Can you smell it? I bet you can smell it through the camera. <laughs> that was from some nice people who were here and and caused that to happen. Uh, actually, I think it wasn't the people. I think it was the pets. Well, you never know. Here, smell this one over here. Can you smell that? Yeah, me too. It's It's almost strong enough you can smell it over the... The smell of what Emmanuel's doing there. We should definitely buy these for no reason at all. Milwaukee accessory, one one key, tick tool, and an equipment tracker? We can just slap them everywhere for six... Well, is that really how much they normally are? We should look them up on eBay and buy them all and then resell them. We shouldn't yeah. give people that idea, though. Don't do that. But if Don't. you do do it, make sure you click here because if you scroll on to the bottom... You'll see in bold print right there. That statement is true. Sure is. <laughs>